Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Cosmet Gaming with me, Christopher, and this is Scythe, the Digital Edition. Because you might remember in the last video that I did on Iron Harvest, I mentioned Scythe. And Scythe and Iron Harvest are based around the same world. Now, I don't know if any of the games are based on each other, if you would. I don't know that, but uh, they are based on the same world, and you will see uh, similarities quite quickly. Uh, if you remember Iron Harvest. We we will get into that as soon as we get into the game. And um, we're gonna play this, uh, play a round of Scythe, and I'm gonna try to be as articulate as I can about rules and how to play the game. But I'm gonna warn you already that there, there are a lot of moving parts in this game. A lot of things that go in, in together, or other in, interconnecting with each other, etc, etc. And it might be a bit difficult to uh, get a clear overview the first time you see the game. Uh, especially if you don't play it yourself. So uh, if you ever play this, uh, rather if you, if you are going to be interested in this, I definitely uh, think that you should play it yourself at least one time to get a bit of a hang of the game. But I'm going to try as best as I can to show you what, what it's about. So let's, uh, let's go set up a new game. Now, I'm gonna play as Saxony. Now, the biggest reason why I'm gonna play as Saxony is because I still haven't won a game with them. Uh, I am gonna play against a full roster of hard bots, so I'm probably not gonna win this time either, but I'm... damn it if I'm not gonna try. <laughs> uh, you do have an expansion, uh, Images from Afar, it's exactly the same as the board game, that introduces two uh, new factions, but I don't have that, so uh, we're not gonna play with those. So, I'm gonna play, be playing as Saxony. So, let's uh, start off the game and, uh, yeah, let's start going through everything. And this is the uh, sort of starting screen where we get uh, most of the information about our faction as well as some of the special, uh, special rules for this particular game. So, we are playing as Saxony and we have a faction ability, uh, which is that there, are, there is no limit to the stars for completing objectives and winning combat. Uh, stars are the sort of um, what's a good word for that? Well, the objectives, let's just say that. Uh, no, no, uh, no, sorry, objectives are down here. <laughs> uh, stars are basically what we uh, use in order to calculate when the game ends. I'm going to show you that when we get to the board. Uh, so our objectives, these are always random, you get two every turn. We have got create a permanent foothold. That means that we need to build at least three structure have a, structures, have at least seven popularity, and have zero mix. I don't think that I want to do that. I don't think that that is uh, <laughs> interesting enough. Uh, Northern Advantage, control at least three Tundra territories at the end of your turn. Now that is uh, more, more likely that we can do that, at least one turn. And um, we also have a structure bonus for our buildings. The, this is also random every time. And on this occasion we got the straight line one. That means that uh, the more buildings we can build in a straight line on the uh, hexagonal tiles that are on the board, that means that we get more points. And uh, as we are Saxony, we start with one uh, power and four combat cards. Then we have a uh, player mat, and uh, the particular one that we got call is called the Patriotic one, which gives us six gold and two popularity. Exact exactly what all that means we will see in just a second. So, let's uh, start off the game. It looks like we're second, which is good, because that means that we don't have to sort of wait for everyone. <laughs> so let's uh, have a bit of an introduction here. We have Crimea, we have Saxony, that is us, yay. We have Polania. And do you recognize those? Yes, indeed. We also have the Nordic countries, and last but not least, the Rusviet. So, yeah, Polania and Rusviet we recognize, and even more so, we recognize the character over here. Yes, over here we have Anna and Wojtek, the characters that we played with in Iron Harvest. Now, that's very, very nifty. So, we uh, are indeed in the second in place. We have a bit of a last last actions here so we saw that uh, Crimea started with a trade action 
paying one gold and gaining two oil. And uh, yeah, this is basically it. This looks almost exactly like the actual board game, by the way. It's exactly the same map. Even these things on the side, I think, are more or less exactly the same. The only thing different is that, yeah, it continues on a bit. <laughs> that doesn't happen in the board game, uh, because then the board will be really, really big. So, so let, let, let's start by introducing the sort of everything. We can start over here. This is the point track, or star, star point track, whatever. So, up here you gather points. You gather points by fulfilling certain objectives. Uh, you have technology, mechs, houses, or houses, structures, uh, recruits, workers, the objectives that we have up here, uh, combats, two of them, uh, popularity, and uh, power. So, as you remember, the Saxony uh, bonus is that... Uh, any other player can only get one star for objectives. We can actually get a star for both of our objectives. So the way that this works is that when a player has reached six stars, the game ends. It doesn't mean that the player who gets six stars first is the winner. It just means that the game ends when that happens. Uh, so what happens is that when that when that happens, you uh, calculate the scores. Now the scores are based on a fair amount of different things, but uh, mainly I'd say you have the popularity track. So the popularity track, as you can see, we are placed in a different uh, spot, every one of us, sort of. Well, we are three on two popularity. Uh, so we're down here, we are, we are the black heart, and these are what we are gonna get some points for. This is not the only thing we get points for, but uh, it's actually... I think that you could almost say that this is the thing that you get the most points for. Uh, so over here, and the number of stars. Over here, the number of territories controlled. So for example, like this, I am currently controlling two territories. You need to have at least a structure or at least one uh, unit to be in control. We currently have our character and we have our workers. So uh, our character is at our home base. That is not considered a controlled territory. Last but not least, for every two resources uh, you are currently in control of at the end of the game, you get points. Now, this is also uh, split up into three sections. So, that means that uh, the higher you are on this track, the more you get. So, for stars, for example, if we're down here, we would get three points for each star. If we're up here, five points for each star. Now this actually makes quite a lot of difference, because we are going to have stars and territory and resources at the end of the game. So, ideally you want to move uh, popularity up as much as you can. So that, that's one thing to think about. And over here we have our power. Power is used for combat, as well as uh, spending, spending as a uh, resource. Uh, popularity is also spent as a resource on location. Sadly we are at the bottom, it's a bit of a shame, but considering the fact that we can get uh, multiple stars for battles is sort of why that is the case. A uh, bit of a balance thing there. And the reason why this was 7 is circled is because when we get into a battle we can use power uh, to fight our enemies. And the most power you can use is 7. Uh, the max you can have is 16. And for um, power it is 16 to get a star. And for, popular for popularity it is 18. So that is how that, that works. Now if we turn our attention back to the map, we have uh, resources and some other stuff as well. So there are four basic resources in the game, oil, uh, iron, wood and food. There are also villages where we can get more workers. So, th so th this is sort of where the uh, four X elements come into this game, because you need to move your workers in a clever manner, so to speak, in order to get them to... Uh, sort of get, get you the most out of your actions. And uh, the last, uh, w we also have uh, rivers, or sorry, not rivers, lakes. We have rivers. Rivers are these, and these are important. I'll show you that in just a second. We have lakes, uh, not super important for us, but uh, for, for example, the Nordic uh, nation, that is important because they have an ability that lets them actually travel between these. We can't do that, so... Um, uh, the lake tiles are fairly unimportant to us. Uh, last of the tiles is the factory. This is actually mentioned in the uh, in Iron Harvest. I don't remember if we got to that part, but yeah, the factory is actually mentioned there as well. 
Uh, the factory works in, in such a way that if we uh, move to that one with our character, I think... Actually, it might work work with a mech as well. I'm a little bit unsure of that, but at least with the character, you get a factory card to fill up a slot down here. And uh, if you control the factory at the end of the game, as you can see, this, this is actually counted as three tiles, not just one tile. So that is, uh, that is something to keep in mind. We also have this little symbol here, that is a mine or a tunnel symbol. That means that if I'm stood on this tile and I do a move action, I can move to any of the other uh, tunnel tiles if I want to. And as you can see, quite nicely, each, there are um, six tunnel tiles. Uh, these two are oil, but the other ones are different kind of tiles, so you can sort of use that if you want to. Uh, last little bit is these little tokens. Those are encounter tokens. We want to move our character over to those and we can draw an encounter card. We'll get to that later. So, how does the game actually work? Well, 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 well. <laughs> Wanted to explain quite a lot. We haven't even gotten to how you actually play the game. Um, down here is our player mat. The player mat is uh, divided into four sections. So one, two, three, and four. Each section has a top action and a bottom action. Uh, when it is your turn, you select one of these uh, squares or sections, if you would, and you can perform either only the top action, either only the bottom action, or you can do both. Uh, there is no limitation on how you use the uh, the top and bottom action. You can do it however you want to. The only thing that you need to remember is that you can only use these two when it is your turn. The next turn you get to choose another one. So you cannot choose the same one multiple times. That is not allowed. However, Rusviet over here, their faction ability is actually that they can do just that, which can be... it can be very powerful. It can be very powerful. And that is sort of what we are going to do. Now, how these all work... You know what, let's just go over that as well. So, <laughs> uh, we have a bunch of stuff that we can do. Uh, so at the bottom, with oil, we upgrade. Uh, these little cogwheel symbols are, are what we can upgrade. So what we do is, um, if, if you think about the actual physical board game, these are represented by small cubes, uh, wooden cubes. So you place the cubes when you start the game in these boxes over here. And when you upgrade, you remove one box and you place it down here. So what you effectively do when you upgrade is that you increase the benefit of one of the top actions and you decrease the cost at the bottom. So these red ones are obviously what everything will be costing us. And uh, wh what we can do is we can... Uh, upgrade, we can also deploy a mech, and when we de deploy a mech, we get to choose from either of four uh, abilities. Riverwalk is probably the uh, sort of central one, everyone has this. Uh, our Riverwalk ability means that we can move our character and mechs over, uh, over rivers to wood and mines. So for Saxony, the uh, normal route is over here. Uh, other factions have different uh, tiles that they can move into. We also have underpass, which means that if I control a mountain, um, I can move into tunnels. So I can actually move from here to here. If I get that, is that actually right? If I upgrade this, yes, that is what I can do. <laughs> I can't do it right now because I don't have that one. Uh, disarm means that if I fight a battle on a tunnel tile, my opponent will lose two power. That's very good to know. And the last one is speed. Everyone has this one. It just means that when you move, or rather when you use a move action, you get one more movement point. So, for example, if I would choose this one right now, I get to move two units one, uh, one, uh, one time. I can't take one unit and move it two times. If I have this one, then I can. So that's one thing we can do. Another thing is recruitment. We do that with food. Uh, when we recruit someone, we open up this little uh, uh, square here. So we have power over here, money here, popularity here, and battle cards over here, or combat cards over here. So what that means is that if I, for example, have uh, unlocked this one, whenever I myself 
uh, get another recruit, I will get another combat card. But that also works for my immediate neighbors. So when Polania and Crimea would uh, enlist a recruit, I will also get a combat card. So you kind of want to decide for yourself which of these is the most important. I tend to want to go for power and rather upgrades because uh, there are six upgrades for every uh, for, for every faction there are only four for recruits so you can get more uh, more power that way however getting uh, popularity is a really good thing i would say that this one is the least important money you're generally speaking money isn't going to be a problem and the player math that i have gotten is even more so because I get money from all my bottom actions except for building, and building isn't the most prioritized. So I'm actually going to have quite a lot of money in the end, I think. And uh, so, so that's how recruits work. Uh, the final one is buildings. Well, yeah, we already know knew about that one. So yeah, if I have one building, I will get two points. If I have two buildings in a line, I get four points, three, six points, and four, nine points. For us not the easiest one basically the, the the straight ones i mean we can go here we can go here and we can go here now generally i like to build a uh, tunnel on either of these sides because then you can just travel to here easy easily we don't have to use the uh, the underpass ability we can use some of the other others that are slightly better so that's how that works and the um, the buildings are a little bit different. So yeah, we have the tunnel, or mine as it's called. Uh, that is how that works, Sim simply put. Uh, you will control the territory and you will be able to move into other tunnel tiles everywhere. Not other players' mine tiles. If uh, the Nordic countries would be build a mine over here, I can't travel to their mine. That is not allowed. You also have a, uh, what's it called? It's called a monument and an armory. They don't do anything in the or rather by themselves but what they do do is that if you build a monument and you do the bolster power uh, action which you, you usually do in order to get to the mech you would also get a popularity and uh, vice versa you get a power every time you do a trade action the last one is the mill the mill is actually interesting because the mill acts as a uh, another production one so currently if i would like to produce i can produce now in two different tiles where i have workers if i have a mill the mill counts as an extra production as well as you know actually getting something from the mine so that's kind of in kind of a, of a good one to use and I foresee a good use for that for uh, iron because iron costs a lot. <laughs> could also do uh, could also do wood. Would it be the worst thing in the world? Yeah, we'll we'll see about that. So I think that that is basically what I'm gonna do. We're 20 minutes into this uh, video, and now it's time to start playing. So uh, what would we like to do? Well, we have the player mat that actually benefits us in form of. Uh, upgrading so uh, when you do a trade action you get two uh, you, you pay one gold and you get two resources same as they did and i'm so lucky that my uh, upgrades are actually costing just two oil i don't need to upgrade anything to get that cost so obviously we're gonna do just that so get me uh, two oil and we can't do anything with this so just end turn and it's over to everyone else and as you can see, it's uh, fairly similar. <laughs> uh, they produced. They also produced. Uh, they start with uh, workers on a uh, on a a on a uh, village, so they can get more workers quite fast. So you already get a upgrade, which is nice for you, I guess. And we are gonna upgrade. So I'm gonna move. And how do I want to move? I am. Um, most likely going to move you because I can always get to oil via trade. So producing oil for me isn't super important. And uh, ooh, uh, no, I definitely want to bring. Yes, whenever you move someone that are stood on a tile with resources, you kind of want to bring those resources with you. So we move those resources over there, and I will also move my uh, character. There's no reason for me to control this right now. I just felt like moving there. Right, and we can immediately use our uh, 
stuff to upgrade, so we pay for cost, and then we have to decide which one of these do we have want to do better. So the ones that are the primary ones are obviously moving, being able to move one extra unit, bolster power, get, just getting more power for that cost, and building, being, being able to... Uh, or produce, maybe I should say, uh, produce one extra tile, which is very, very useful. So that's basically, uh, th th those are the most important ones. Getting, I mean, you generally don't use this one, this one, and this one. So, uh, yeah, don't focus on those. I would say, as we're not doing deployment anytime soon, I'm thinking production could be useful. We need to get to food, by the way, fairly fast, so that, that is the goal. Uh, we also need to get wood, so I am going to lower the cost for buildings, because I do need a mine out, I think, pretty damn fast. So, what is the most important? I I think, yes, I'm gonna go production and wood. So there we go. Um, because we did a upgrade, actually, we also get one gold. So I've already gotten back the gold that I got for my uh, ooh, trade there. Very, very nice. And I am most likely going to do... No, I am not going to do the same thing. I am most likely going to produce in the next one. I th think... Or is that the most wise thing? Because uh, if you produce on a... Uh, uh, if you produce here well you get more workers however i would like for you to move here i think yes i'm gonna do that uh, i'm just gonna do the same thing again say exactly the same thing and i'm gonna reduce the cost for wood because that means that the next uh the turn after that i can produce uh, or rather trade for wood uh, i think that that might be a wise choice you are moving for building so what are you gonna build you actually built for four a windmill Cool. Fair enough. And as you can see, Rusviet, they have been producing, so they have a lot of workers already. Uh, the way that workers work, so to speak, is that I have two, I can get six more. Uh, but down here, as you can see, whenever I get two more workers, I open up a new cost. So if I get two more workers, I'm, after that, going to spend one power every time I produce. Another two workers also... Uh, uh, as well as the power, also popularity, and if I have all the six extra workers, I will pay uh, one gold as well. Which is kind of weird, because one gold is the, the least important cost, these are actually the, the bad costs, so to speak. Uh, but I'm gonna move, uh, you... I'm gonna do this, I'm actually gonna move you in here. Then I'm gonna do a produce to get the, uh, the workers here. So now we get an encounter. And uh, encounters are basically just a fun picture, really nicely made. Uh, we are apparently in a bar. So the way that this works, uh, generally the top action gives you something. Straight up gives you something. Second option, you pay something to get something. And the last one is you pay something, something good and get something really, really good. So, for example, paying two gold to get three popularity, that's pretty damn good. So, I'm, oh, well, I might actually go with this one. Uh, because that is actually just... I mean, I would pay to get three, but I get three here. That is actually weird. That should be more, I think. <laughs> but whatever. But paying uh, two popularity to the build a structure, while a good thing, I don't think it's worth it for... For what we get out of it. So no, I'm gonna go for the uh, two power and one popularity. So that just moves us up a little bit on the tracks here, and we do need the power, by the way. We actually very, very much do need the power, uh, because we are gonna be producing with one, uh, one uh, unlocked power here, so yeah. It's gonna be use useful for us. So this occasion I'm gonna go with the uh, movement to get one extra movement guy and I'm gonna reduce the cost again for building and there we go so next turn I am actually gonna be able to move oh, sorry not move I'm gonna be able to build and I think I am I think I am now question is what do I want to build or do I want to produce first Ooh, this is where uh, this is where it does indeed become 
tricky to uh, decide exactly what to do. It is a bit interesting. Ooh, that is a good, uh, difficult decision because I do want to do this one again. The uh, the mine down probably here. I'm standing here though. No, I'm gonna do the produce. Let's do the produce over here. Get us a whole bunch of workers, and yes, indeed, next time we produce, we're gonna be spending some uh, popularity. No, sorry, uh, power. And we only have three powers, we need to be a, a little bit careful here. And uh, by the way, one of the, I, have I had that open all the time? Yes, I have. Uh, the reason why I. You, you can actually choose to remove these uh, panels over here. Uh, I kind of like having them because they are slightly easier to uh, read and get a clear overview. You have all the information up here. Well, actually, you can remove that one. But yeah, you have all the information here, but it's a bit cluttered. So, yeah, I'm, I, I kind of like uh, having the board game segments uh, shown. Because, yeah, it's easier to see where people are on a track like that. So, what I'm thinking is... Trade, again, more uh, oil. Uh, yes. See, my plan is uh, get oil. Next turn, we move. I move my uh, uh, my character here with... Uh, we're actually down here. No, no, no. Here, here. Here's where I want to be. Uh, I move my character with, I think, three workers. I think... I don't know if I can move workers, by the way. Uh, they can move themselves because I can move two workers. Then... Next turn, I uh, an upgrade, and I upgrade probably food. I'm sort of skipping mechs for now. Uh, I'll upgrade food, and uh, next time we will trade again for wood and build the mine over here. That is uh, that is sort of my plan. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good plan or not, but uh, we'll we'll see. So uh, let's take a moment to talk about the AI. The AI is very, very good. <laughs> uh, there is only one thing that the AI does badly, and that is that they are rushing stars. Uh, to the point where they will actually rush to six stars, even if they are unable to win. And I think that that is slightly odd. Don't exactly know why they decided to do that, but uh, yeah. That is how that works. Um, yes, indeed, my character cannot move uh, workers, so we'll have to do it this way. You move here, and you move here. I am probably going to be okay with producing and getting up to, uh, well, the next cost. Maybe. We will see. Uh, but I can upgrade, so let's just do that. And I'm going to upgrade Bolster, and I'm going to remove, yes, this one. And we're done. Because I would like to enlist. We are, there's a lot of upgrades going on, so I'm starting to feel like I maybe shouldn't do this one. Maybe I should do this one. Getting a lot of combat cards is a good thing. Uh, combat cards are down here. There are, uh, they are valued at 2, 3, 4, and 5. We have two twos and two fours. Uh, combat cards uh, we will get into because we will uh, most likely get into a fight at some point. As you can see, Rusviet, they are just producing so much uh, oil, which is a little bit hilarious, but uh, you do you, A. Eh? And Crimea, obviously, as you can see, they have access to food. So they can enlist uh, as much as they like. Right, let's get the wood. We will build, and I will indeed uh, use those wood. I will build the mine, or I will build the mine over here. There we go. Don't get any money for that, sadly, but that's fine. We don't need the money right now. So the question is, what do we do after this? Because now I can't trade to get uh, oil, so it's feels a little bit silly to move because then I'm, I'll have an unused uh, bottom action so I could produce as I said uh, sure the bottom action would again be unused but uh, we would get something for it at least um, would it be the worst thing to move however because I can get my character well actually you know what no we are gonna move just realized why we're gonna move. We're gonna get to uh, the food. Yes, that is exactly what we're gonna do. We are gonna move. Uh, so move, and we are gonna go over here. And you are gonna go over here, and you are gonna go over here. Oops. You are gonna go over here. 
So as you can see, we don't have any units here, but our mine keeps the uh, keeps the cover on this tile. Uh, so we can't do anything else. Just chill out here. Uh, we have. Ooh, they're both through power. How much power do you have right now? Only five, not the most. We're actually... No, we're not even close. I might have to bolster power just to be able to fight. Because the, the thing that I'm currently doing is I'm standing on a mine. Or a tunnel, if you would. And that means that, for example, uh, Polania can actually move into this square now and engage me in combat. They probably won't at this point in time because I don't have any, uh, any resources. There's no reason for them to go there. Uh, how many cards? You have four cards as well. Do I produce? Is the question. Do I produce? Is the question. Or do I actually bolster power one turn? No, 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 no. Actually, no. I, I just said that. Um, they probably won't attack me because I don't have any resources. And if I produce, I still won't have any resources because I will use the food to enlist. So, let's do that. And I have just unlocked the uh, second rank here, so to speak. Uh, probably won't be producing a whole lot after this, though. So that's fine. Maybe sometime. And yes, indeed, we will enlist. And I will use the... Uh, the enlist enlist, so to speak, or recruit enlist, because I don't think that you've really done any of that, have you? Can I... I think I can see that. Yes. Uh, so we'll look at this. Yes. Or is that Carmilla? Oh, you bastards. You've enlisted one. Well, that's fine. Uh, you have one building, zero buildings. Buildings is the most unimportant. No, no, no it isn't. That's for popularity. So I could go popularity. But also, it's not uh, it's not guaranteed that they, that they even go for buildings. That's that's the problem. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go for this one because, as I said, this also counts for me. And uh, now that we enlist, we also get to pick a immediate bonus. And uh, yeah, I'm, I was already talking about uh, power being a problem, so let's just get some more power. So a bit of money as well. That means that we are now up to four power. Yay! <laughs> That's not that much, but it's uh, it's fine. You are actually not bothering me at all, so that's good to know. So we're gonna go back to our trade and trade move combo, I think. Because I would like to move uh, my character to more encounters, because encounters are very, very good. They are actually doing... Ooh, that's interesting. That is interesting. By the way, they have screwed me over for one of my potential straight line movements. Or rather, sorry, uh, straight line structures. Uh, the one going up. Because they built the mine in that line. Yeah, they're using their stuff. They have been upgrading like everything. I think that you don't have a star yet. They don't have a star yet, but you must be high up on that. Uh, actually, only three. Have I? No. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I have three. Oh, they actually only have three as well. But that's curious. Uh, yeah, I built one here, so I can't go this light now because they have a structure here. So my only goal now, if I want to build more structure, is structures, is to go over here. Right. Uh, but yeah, I am going to do... Uh, I kind of don't want to leave these alone, though. No, no, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Get, get me some oil. Can't do anything else. Uh, still. Hmm. Do I have any wood on uh, on that road, or rather that line? I don't think I did. But I think it's going to be... Uh, no, I don't. Two... Uh, <laughs> actually, it's two villages, which is... Well, it doesn't really matter, but uh, I'm thinking about the... Uh, uh, the windmill. And building a windmill on a... Uh, <laughs> on a village is a bit pointless, because, you know, you don't... You want to be able to control how many workers you get, so, uh, yeah. 
no one has a star yet. I'm a bit, I'm a bit surprised by that actually. So yeah, now they actually did. No, they did deployment. They didn't do any. They did not do uh, that. Uh, they did an employment that took a river box, and they did, now they can move over to this tile instead of having to use a tunnel, which is a okay. So I am gonna move. I am actually gonna do this. Uh, the reasoning being that if uh, uh, if an opponent moves a mech or a character into a tile, tile where there are only workers, uh, they will they will take over the tile and any resources on that tile. However, they will also lose popularity, and I think the popularity loss is equal to the number of workers. So since there aren't any resources here, I don't think that any of my opponents will actually do that. There's no re reason for them to do that, so they should be fine. Uh, so you're, you've moved, I want to move you, and I want to move you over to metal, because it's time to get some metal, I think. Another encounter. We can gain money and popularity. We can pay two to gain four metal. Now isn't that just beautiful? That is exactly what I wanted. Uh, or I can pay again popularity and list one recruit. No, we're absolutely gonna get metal. It's a bit annoying. Uh, we're gonna get it over here. But I don't think that anyone can actually get to us. So I think that your ability... Uh, can I see that? Yeah, it's... Uh, they can move over to farmland and uh, tundra. And this is a. Uh, this is not that. <laughs> right, and again, we can keep doing this. Now we're into the unimportant ones, so let's just go for. Let's go for the ability to do more power. Uh, but we will do uh, uh, this one now, which means that I actually don't even need four. But you know, I have four, so why not? Uh, that's good. So yeah, the encounter cards are very useful. See, they've actually got their third encounter card now. They've uh, been going hard on that. But yeah, I am 100% going to do this one now. Uh, there's no reason not to do that. I'm probably going to put it over here. They didn't get the memo that they need to put the buildings in a straight line, so they're building them uh, on their little starting, <laughs> starting lands, which is cute. Uh, the Nordic counties, by the way, their uh, ability, their faction ability, is that their workers can move over uh, rivers without any upgrades. Uh, characters and mech mechs can't, but the workers can, so that's why they have workers over here. And also a mine over here, which is very odd, because why would you have the mine over here? That is a, such an odd placement. Yeah, okay, so the AI is it's good, but it's not super good, <laughs> as you see. <laughs> They know how to play the game a little bit, but uh, not terribly well. Yeah, we're getting recruitment bonuses. People are doing, or rather my opponents are doing sort of the same thing that I'm doing, which is to uh, get this uh, endless first. I am going to want to produce pretty damn soon, though. Uh, I want to do get more enlists, but we're going to absolutely start with this. So gain me three power, and we're going to spend some of this uh, stuff here and I kind of like the speed one being able to move uh, faster is very very good uh, I don't need the underpass right now because you know the mine that I'm controlling I have a mine on <laughs> so I can just move there anyway so this is actually quite unimportant a river walk sure uh, lets me go over here that is true but I don't think that it's super important because I'm going to be able to move my workers around with mechs. So I'm just going to go for the speed one. And I am going to place you on here. Because that means the, that I can move you over here. I... Ooh, do I do that? Yes. I do, I do do that. And we get some more money. So the two... Uh, Two gold that I spent here, I actually got back and then some. So that's nice. Good, good job. But yeah, I am uh, interested in the fact that no one has gotten a star yet. At this point in the game, I it almost feels like everyone already has at least one star. Uh, right, more enlisting means that I get a card. I would like to get at least one five. Would be nice. I only got in one card, and that was a three. Threes aren't bad, but not super good either. 
And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're trading. No movement so far. And you are enlisting, so more cards for us. It means that we get two new cards this turn. We haven't gotten it yet, so uh, that's why the numbers aren't changed. So, once uh, it is our turn, we will see what that looks like. So, what I'm thinking now is actually doing one more... Do I do one more trade oil move action? Or do I produce? I think I produce. Yes, I produce. And I produce on all three tiles, means that I have all the workers and I'm actually the one with the first star. So we go back here, yep, yeah, I have all eight workers, my first star. Uh, this means that I don't have to have workers here anymore, but I kind of do uh, need workers here because I need to have a worker in a space where I want to build a structure. I do want to build a structure here. I'm going to try and get this row over here if I can. So, enlist. Uh, what are we looking at here? If we're looking at... Uh, mix one each buildings you already have three buildings so actually well mech is the unimportant one <laughs> how we're looking for upgrades you are at three and five that's only that's only four left uh, you haven't built any buildings yet let's go for that one let's go for that one uh, where, 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 where am I Yes, enlist, uh, pay those two, get you, and I am gonna get the... Do I get... What did I get? I got the two or the four. Do I want to get even more cards? No, actually, I'm just gonna go for the power. The biggest issue with having a cost for production is that if you don't have the uh, currency here, you can't produce. That is one of the reasons why the rules say that you don't have to do the top action. <laughs> uh, same goes for these, obviously. If you don't have any gold, well, you can't either bolster power, bo bolster power or trade or, well, anything. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta be a little bit mindful of what you have, but we're looking pretty damn good right now. So that's all good and well, but I do want to get more power, or rather more popularity. So hopefully Crimea can start building some structures soon. Um, they don't have access to wood immediately, so that's why they are not super fast at building. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're actually... Okay, so Crimea, yeah, really high up, and they're actually even higher up now. Okay. So they're upgrading again. And they get cards when they upgrade, apparently, I think. Yeah, Crimea is all about cards, by the way. Uh, they can use uh, combat cards as resources, which is a really powerful ability. Um, yeah. So, I'm thinking... I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking... I'm thinking production and wood. So I can build here and then move away from here. Yes, we're gonna do that. So two wood, uh, we're gonna build. And over here, we're just gonna take... Uh, I'm just gonna take this one. The monument. Because uh, we are... We're gonna do this at least three times more, so that's three popularity that we can get from that. So that's good. They have done sort of the same thing. Uh, well, same thing, they have three buildings, I only have two. So, not exactly the same, but you know what I mean. And uh, as for enlists, as you can see, down here I think that is a symbol for what our immediate neighbors have chosen to enlist as well. I think that that is what that means. Yeah, so every time we build, they are they are going to be getting bonuses. Uh, same popularity bonus as I got. By the way, Crimea, did you get... No, you're at 14. We are, we're getting some uh, stars in. What have people gotten stars for? Uh, Crimea with technology. Me with... Oh, it's actually just us. <laughs> okay. Crimea has uh, done all the technologies now, so they have one spare oil. <laughs> uh, slightly, slightly badly planned there, but whatever. Uh, you haven't even—they haven't even moved their main character, which is interesting. 
but sure. That is sort of why I, why I went for this one, by the way, because that is their closest one, so I grabbed that one. Uh, but I do want to move over here, I think. So, I could actually... Ooh, before I move, I have two uh, iron here now and one iron here. I can do another mech, yes. Let's do that. Let's do exactly that. That is a very good point, and I will get disarm. Uh, which means that if I fight over here, which is a very co common uh, tile to fight at, my opponent will lose some uh, power, which is a good thing to just have. Or do I do Riverwalk? Because then I can just move these over here immediately. And if I move all of these over here, I just need the one... Uh, I just need the one... Uh, 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 production to get all the wood I need for two more buildings. Hmm, that is a good point. Yes, let's get that one. And I will get you over here though, just for some extra protection here. There we go. Nice. You're doing your last building, I think. Which means that I get my recruit bonus. More popularity, yes. I am second up here. I'm actually a third, so to speak. Right. Ooh, did that actually say that there aren't any combat cards left? Because that's a problem. That means that I'm not going to be getting any five, uh, five cards. Hmm. Not super good, but okay. I think we're fine for now. I'm not super fussed about another technology. But it would be nice to get that one, because I do have two workers to get to iron. Uh, would it be the worst thing? So what I'm thinking is, if I do what I said, move over to wood, place them there. Uh, then produce, then go back, and I can actually sort of even skip. No, 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 no. I, I want that one for the... Uh, for the oil. I'm gonna waste this a bit now. I don't have any oil. I could wait one more turn to move. You know what? Well, if I... I mean, if I do this one, I waste this one. I, I waste either this or this. Right? Uh, but let's think about this. If I do this now, I move here. So next time I do this, I will get hit. Yeah, okay, so th that's better. Yes, m move first. So I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna bring everybody, and I'm gonna go here. And you're gonna unload everything. There we go. And I don't think that anyone can actually move here. So you're sort of safe there. So I'm gonna move you over here. And I'm gonna move you. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I normally don't do this. But I'm gonna move to the factory. Yeah. That's a cool thing. I'm gonna move to the factory. So what happens at the factory? We'll see in just a second. Do I wanna move anyone else? No, I don't wanna move anyone else. I am fine with that. And since I'm the first person here, I get to choose from all six cards. So each uh, game, you have one more card than there are players. We're five players today. It means that we have six cards. And the first one to get there, you get to choose. So it's not random. You actually get to look at the cards and choose which one you want. And I'm already looking at this one. I can pay a combat card. I have a lot of two cards that are kind of pointless. Uh, get money and also move. And this little symbol means that you can actually move one unit two tiles. And in my case, if I move... Uh, my character or a mech, that means I can move three times. Uh, over here I can pay a res- Ooh, that one's- Oh, that one's so good. Oh, that one's so good. I can pay a random resource and get power, popularity, and... Uh, gold, which is incidentally exactly the same as this. So if I do that one, I can then produce, and I've made a... A zero, a zero loss for this action, but I've gotten whatever it is that I'm producing. Okay, so that's a really good one. Uh, what the hell does this mean? Oh, right, I can pay two different resources for either a recruit or an upgrade. That's pointless for me, I think. 
or I can... Uh, ooh, that's also good. <laughs> and that, that's basically the same as that one, but for mix and uh, uh, building. No, I think uh, it's pretty obvious that I'm gonna go for that one. That's a really good card. So now I have another card here, which is just lovely. Right, that was a movement. We don't have any oils. Let's end our turn. So you produce. Uh, am I the only one with eight uh, workers still? Yes, I am. Everyone has stopped at five. I think that that is specifically, specifically because they don't want uh, to <laughs> unlock the uh, popularity cost. Fair enough. I mean, I'm doing fine anyway on popularity, so, yeah, you know, it's all good. Right. So, the next plan was a production right, because that means that I can get another enlist. And uh, I don't think it matters much. You're already... Well, you, you have three more, per, uh, three more upgrades. And again, the mech one is kind of pointless. I mean, I'm sitting at 10 gold, and I'm not going to use those 10 gold anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go for that one. So, we're doing a production. Over here, over here, and over here. Uh, we're doing an enlist. We're paying the cost, taking the upgrade one, and I'll take the cards. Did I even get cards? I don't know if I get cards. <laughs> uh, bother. Uh, right. Uh, we are good to go. So next turn we do... Um, uh, I am going to do production, I think. Oh, sorry, trade. Uh, for the simple reason that... Uh, I do want the oil to keep upgrading. Yes, at least one more upgrade. So are we looking now? Okay, so Crimea has two stars. Everyone has at least one star. So what have people gotten stars for? Enlist. Many of them have enlist, yes. You two have tech. You have enlist. I have still just for my new worker dudes. But I'm gonna get uh, both enlist and uh, wood. Actually, you know what? Now that I thought about that, yeah, I can't do that one because I don't have a worker here. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, that is very annoying. Uh, so how do I play this? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's very annoying. I mean, I could do this for the oil and then just not do anything and then move you guys over here. I mean, come to think about it, now that I have this one, if I do another production and get a whole bunch of wood, I can use that for that action. But I don't know how important that is either. Oh, this is this is hard. So what is the best option here? Because I want this one for that one, but I want that one for that one, and or rather this one for that one. Ah, eh. oh, this is. I know that the building bonus isn't like the best one, but it feels stupid not to go for it. But on the other hand, what units will I move down here? I don't want to move these ones necessarily, right? Right. Oh, this is... Okay, I'm gonna do that. I am gonna move. And I am gonna move these two. I don't need the last enlist, because it's just two money for the bonus, uh, which is not important. And it is the uh, money, money bonus. Okay, so I don't actually care about that anymore. Fair enough. Uh, move, yes. You... Uh, Bring the workers here, and drop one, and move here. You move down here, and you move down here. The reason for that is because 
Crimea I can move into, so I want at least two characters over here. Uh, doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to win a fight there. They can actually most likely win a fight there. Which is a bit annoying, but again, no uh, resources, so there's really not a terribly uh, big reason for them to build anything there. Uh, yeah, I don't have any oil, not enough resources, just end the turn. It's gonna be very interesting to see what Crimea does now. <laughs> very interesting. I am also up to the second tier on popularity. We would like to get up to the third tier, because we are we're looking pretty good for like territory and stuff like that. So uh, and with this one, I could produce quite a lot of resources to get this bonus. So yeah, it's not looking terrible. Okay, so you're now moving. Where are you moving? You're moving over here. That's curious. That is very curious, but okay, fair enough. You finally take that encounter, getting some popularity and presumably something else, also enlisting. Getting the uh, build build recruit, which is completely pointless, I think. You've built not everything. Well, actually, you haven't built anything, so that's true. Yep, they are indeed attacking me. Kind of thought that that would happen. Right, they took everything with them as well. That's fascinating. Finally, they moved that one. So, here we are. This is the combat screen. Now, I get to choose how much power I'm going to use, as well as how many combat cards. I have two units, they have two units, we can each use two combat cards. Now is the time to be uh, a little bit clever here. They're probably going to add everything. So I'm just going to not add anything, I'm going to take the loss. And as you can see, yes they did. They chose 7 powers, no cards though. And I don't know how much this is actually due to uh, the AI knowing what I did. Because this feels odd. Why didn't they use... I could have won that. Okay, so that's annoying. But also not, not a big problem, uh, really. They moved everything here, which is very fast. Oh, they built on... Oh, you bastards. <laughs> oh, you bastards. Okay, whatever. That means that I'm not going to get the, the four, four in-line bonus, which is very, very sad. Very, very sad. But I'm going to trade. And since you moved into here, you dirty, rotten scoundrels, do I... I don't care about the uh, endless. No, I'm actually gonna go for. I'm gonna go for. Or do I even? Do 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 do. Do I even do that? No, no, I do. I do. I do do that. Uh, so, wood. I am gonna build. Uh, yes. You, I don't want the uh, mill on this tile because again, uh, I have no need for villages anymore. So just gonna build that one over there. Um, that's about it. So Crimea, man, that battle. Yeah, I don't know exactly how much the AI gets in terms of knowledge about what I do, because it does feel weird that they moved in with one unit and only used seven power. That is a very strange strategy. And I could have used one power and two cards in one. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I could have actually just used two cards, two four cards. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna focus on stars that are not these, by the way. <laughs> also, I moved away from the factory. Not on there anymore. Um, you're over there, you're deploying. Over here, oh, they're taking an ad advanced position. Uh, at this point, I'm not super... ...scared about not expanding more. I'm quite okay with what I have. Uh, what I will do, however, is deploy over here. I want some extra security here. <laughs> uh, that is exactly what I would like to do. Also getting three extra power, as well as one popularity, not a bad thing. Let's do that, and then we will... Oh crap. Oh no. I did that wrong. Or did I? 
No, wait. No, I did that wrong. Yes, I did do that very, very wrong, actually. Uh, not the way that I considered it, though. I didn't have the... I didn't have the iron. Oh, bother. You can use an undo button, by the way, but only uh, during your turn. <laughs> not after you've uh, done whatever... whatever stupid thing you did. <laughs> Which I did now. Uh, but I have a lot of... Uh, I have a lot of popularity and power right now, so I'm feeling moderately okay. Uh, we are gonna move, because I can do... Right, that is sort of what I was supposed to do. It wasn't I. I was supposed to move. Uh, upgrade that one, and then... Do what I just did. Oh, bother. Uh, but I have another encounter token to go to, so that's fine. Uh, we are gonna do... That now. Right. Yes, so I'm going to move you over here, because I can, like so. I'm going to move you over here, I think. Was that stupid? I think that's stupid. I'm actually just going to move you here. I don't want to move you over there. How are you looking for? You have eight cards, you have only three power, though. That is mighty interesting, actually. That is mighty interesting. Do I go for that? Because if I use 7 power and 8, that's 15. They cannot get to 15. No, I do I do, do that. I attack here. And I can actually... Yes, because I need to attack with one more. So you bring that one and go in here as well. Yep, it's a fight. They only have three power. So the absolute maximum... Oh, no, wait, they can use one more card. Okay, I need to think about that. So their max is actually 18. Um, I'm going to use two four cards, so that's eight. Three... I'm gonna go... I'm actually just... Let's go all in. Let's see if that works. Let's see if that's enough. Okay, I spent way too much. They used one. <laughs> That is uh, highly overpowered, but whatever. We're down to four power, that's not super good. Um, we do have an encounter as well, just to popularity. Pay for it for a mech. Might do that, actually. Combat card of power, that would be good. Uh, but I have... Did I actually spend popularity even if there were mechs? I thought that that only was for tiles with out mix, but it does feel as if I spent popularity there. Okay, uh, I could get the last. Is it that? Is it? Is it the last mix? No, I have two more mix. Uh, I think I'm gonna do that one. Yes, and I'm gonna go for disarm. And apparently, can I, right? I can only get it here because that's where the encounter was. That's fair. And finally, upgrade. Use these two. Uh, remove these, whatever. So next time, bolster power and deploy. Deploying the last uh, mech. We're up to... Yeah, see, now Crimea is actually up to four stars now, so we need to be slightly looking at that. They have technology, mechs, enlist, and one, one battle. We got one star for the battle that we won just, so good for us. So you can see that over here. Workers and battles. Now it would be nice to get some more stars, I think. So yeah, you don't wanna you don't wanna end the game obviously before you have a chance to actually win. That is something to be minded about. But you also want stars because obviously stars is one thing that you get uh, points for <laughs> on the popularity track. Right, so we're gonna do bolster power, we're gonna do this, get you, get the last mech I am going to place. I already have two here, so that's not necessary. Uh, you guys are not needed there. I don't really need anyone, to be quite fair. <laughs> Uh, well, I kind of need one more uh, food, but I can trade that. Uh, I can trade that. So, well, it's, there's no reason to have it here. So, actually, just go. Let's go here. Because if I lose a battle here, it's stupid to lose all three of my mechs over there. Yes. And apparently, no combat cards. Used combat cards will be recycled. Sure. 
I wonder if... I don't know if there's any place where you can see how many cars there are. Right? I don't know. Yeah, we're up to three stars now with that uh, mech. And didn't I just take over a lot of oil? I took over a lot of oil, so this is now looking very interesting. Because they are up to just four stars, Craig, yeah? Uh, what are they gonna be close to? Only one building. They haven't done anything there. No, they're not very close to uh, more stars. So I think we can start doing this. Maybe. I mean, I like this one a little bit better. Uh, and I can't do that one. Ooh, do I have... Do I have... Yeah, I have wood. Right, I can just do popularity. Not often that I do that. Let me just tell you. Because you're fighting. And you lost. No star for you. Good to know. Sadly, you can't take over tiles with buildings. That would have been good. So you're actually doing a little bit of a line there. Good for you. We get bonus popularity. Nice. And yeah, I actually think that I, that is what I'm going to do. Because I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I mean, I kind of need one more... One more food. I can do one more production. It's not a problem. But yeah, I'm going to do that one. And I also get uh, power, obviously. So let's uh, use this. And let's get the build, uh, build it. The only place where we can build it. There we go. So we get another point. We're up to four points as well. I gotta say, I have a pretty good feeling here. And we are actually up to uh, the last tier here. We have six uh, tiles. I can move one down here, obviously. To get this tile as well. And uh, again, obviously, since I have... Um, buildings on some tiles, they don't need units. Uh, the thing about that is that if, if for example, Polania would move into that tile, uh, they would be in control of that tile, even though there's a building. But as soon as they move away, uh, power goes back to the Nordics. And, oh, what the hell? Whoa! You got that very, very fast! But you had, like, three stars. Well, okay, fine. We're, we're calculating everything. So, I'm, yeah, they're probably gonna win as well. Aren't they? Well, we got a bit here. We're second still. There's a little... Man, that came fast. We got the building bonus. Nice. Oh, what the hell? How did you have so much money? Oh, wow, okay. Ma I did not see them with that many stars. Wow, okay, so we got, well, second to last. I thought that I did really, really well, but apparently not. Yeah, I could have gotten more uh, tiles as I was talking about. Yeah, the stars, well, I got basically as much as I can out of that. But yeah, the money, wow, was I behind. How? 34, 37, 29, where, where did you get all the money from? What? How? How is that possible? I'm really confused about that. How could you get that much money? That's almost not possible, in a way. I mean, I actually had the most territory as well, so... No, that, that was the building one, never mind. That, that's the territory, I was second on territory. Okay, well... We didn't win, <laughs> that's for damn sure. <laughs> Man, that is a impressive score. And yeah, as I said, I, I, I thought that they had like... Didn't they have like four stars? Maybe they had four stars, but they got like a uh, mission or something. Maybe that's what happened. I apparently got a mission as well. Did I? Apparently I did. Seems a bit lit up here. Uh, but yeah, okay. There you go. Uh, there you go. Uh, yeah, I was the best on that as well, and so on and so on. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I did good, but not even that was enough, so poor, poor me. And that is that is how you play Scythe. <laughs> that is how you play Scythe. I don't know if you're any wiser to this game now, but uh, yeah, I think that uh, that pretty much shows you exactly how to do this. 
So if you like board games, if you like 4X games, uh, Scythe is a really, really good board game. It's one of the best out there. So definitely check that out. Check that out in real in real life, I was about to say. Sh check the actual board game out because it's uh, indeed very, very good. So for now, this has been Ghostmet Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.